guys, Dr. Robinson today with IXL, and I am in math. We are regrouping. Uh, we know that with our blind children, we've got our wonderful abacus. Can you do this on the brailler and cross out and all of that? You can, you, and you may want to start with that so the child understands, but they will always be behind their peers. If you want them to be able to calculate math efficiently, you of course want to teach them the abacus. So uh, let me find out where my cursor is at. So let me just up arrow. How about alt tab? I Excel vertical bar use models to add three. Whoops. I Excel vertical bar use models to add three dash digit numbers dash without regrouping vertical bar second grade math dash personal dash Microsoft. Edge to move to an item, press the arrow keys. Default on default, normal. I Excel vertical bar use models to add three dash digit okay. numbers. I'm going to hit H for heading to get down into my problem. And I'm going to tell you, typically you start at the bottom of this where a submit button is. Grade 20 on grade 97, okay. use models to add three. But you get lost. If you get lost, H for heading here where you're at, and then down arrow and listen to the problem. Grade 60, heading grade 40 on default, share skill. Uh, I've got too many attributes going on in here, so I'm going to insert Alt S. Select the scheme dialog. List one, list two. Attributes and colors. Two of twenty-one. To move uh, to item. Probably... Classic left, classic left, parent attribute. So if you're doing a more advanced math with to the power of, you're going to want classic attributes. But I believe classic will be fine here. Classic, classic, classic. Okay, and I'm going to hit enter on this. Enter scheme classic. Okay, and let's down arrow. Share to Facebook button. Up, share to Facebook button, so I've lost uh, focus again. So once again, control. I Excel vertical bar use models to add, use models to add three dash digit numbers. Hush them up, down arrow. Heading level one, share skill. Share to Facebook button, share to Twitter button, navigation region end. Okay, and my keyboard's off. Let's try that again. Learn with an example button, play audio button. Okay, uh, we don't need audio button because we've got JAWS. The blocks show 122. Okay, so immediately have the child set 122. Okay. Uh, and once again, uh, you can probably teach this even if you haven't even done very much of the rules of setting one, two, three, four, etc. Uh, so let's go ahead and just keep going and down arrow. Plus 132. Okay, plus 132. Well, you can hear the blocks, but the child is going to be able to immediately do this. So you're going to set two. That is direct. So the child's going to go to the ones, set two. Now we know the rules here, we know 3 plus 2 is 5 in the 10, so the child's going to clear 2 and set 5, okay? And then of course you're going to go over to your hundreds and set 100. So now the child's going to continue to down arrow. Period, 122. Okay, and of course it's showing the base 10 blocks. You can uh, also get the base 10 blocks out and have them confirm this problem is really going to be 254. Okay, so lots of different ways, especially if they're young, really include everything so they're understanding the math. 132. Plus 132. Play audio button. How many hundreds, comma, tens, comma, and ones blocks are there in all question? Okay, so here we go. Play audio button. Blank. Edit. Okay, so how many, and if they're not sure, that's really hundreds and down arrow. Blank. Edit. And up arrow. Blank. Edit. Hundreds. Yeah, it read way too fast. Hundreds, comma. Okay, and then up Blank. Edit. Okay, blank, edit, so how many hundreds? The child feels there's two hundreds, and they're going two. to, and they can do this on their brow display also. I just don't have enough room to fit my brow display in here with everything else. Okay, the child can tab, but once again, if they're young, this is the first time they're doing it, have them down arrow so they hit every single pixel in your page. Hundreds, comma, blank, edit. Okay, so once again, the child should know this is tens. If they can't remember that, down arrow one time and listen. Tens, comma, and. Okay, and then of course up arrow. Land, time. edit. Okay, how many tens the child's going to go and they're going to feel, oh, there is five tens. So they're going to type five. in five and down arrow again. Tens, comma, and. Land, edit. Okay, so at this point they should understand that is one, so they're going to feel their ones and they're going to say four ones. Four. Okay, and continue to down arrow. Ones. Play audio button. Complete the addition sentence, okay. period. So here we go. We're going to complete it now. 122 plus 132 equals. Blank edit. Okay, blank edit. The child's going to feel they're going to go, oh, 254. 254. Two, okay, and then down arrow to submit button. 254. Submit button. And enter. enter. Submit button to activate. Press enter, period. IXL vertical bar use models to act. Now, uh, the pop ups of great job, keep going. Uh, we are having some conflict now between the latest Windows update and our JAWS update, even NVDA. So uh, it is not reading those pop ups. So it totally depends on where your update is at. So stay tuned and just keep doing your updates and hopefully those little pop ups that say great job and awesome. Uh, the way the child knows is it pops through. Uh, if it 
if they get it incorrectly, they will say this is incorrect and they'll show you show them actually how to do it. But we're just gonna show you how to do it now. So can you do Shift H immediately up to your uh, heading and then down arrow? You can, or you can just up arrow to the uh, directions. Play how many hundreds, play audio button, 100 or 200 third period, 100 third plus, 200 third of blocks show, play audio button. Okay. So what's kind of nice about going up is the child is like kind of getting the, so having, of course they're gonna do it a lot slower than I'm doing it, but they're gonna kind of hear a heads up of, oh, okay, this is coming up. So once again, we're gonna down arrow. The block show, 232. Okay, have them clear their abacus. They need to set 232, okay? And I am a big thumbs up uh, to move beads up and pointer down, to move pointers down. Uh, some child, some children want to use their middle finger, and they're going to get into the habit of actually, you know, moving them simultaneously. They will get so fast at this. Okay, so we're going to down arrow. Listen to the next problem. Plus one hundred thirteen. Plus one hundred thirteen. Okay, so once again, we're in our ones, and if they've gone through the rules of five, they know they're going to clear two and set five. Now, if you're not understanding exactly what I'm doing, uh, and you know math, you know two plus three is also five. But anytime you're setting three, you're gonna be clearing two somehow, okay? So we're gonna clear two and set a five. And now we're going to set 100, which is gonna be direct, so the child's gonna to go to the tens, set 100, and now they're gonna go over to the hundreds and set 100 more. And they're gonna just double check, okay, 345. Okay, let's down arrow and continue to listen. Period, 232. Okay, 232, they already did this problem. 113. Okay, so these are the uh, base 10 blocks. If this child's not quite getting it, grab the base 10 blocks and have them doing that. Um, so I'm just gonna put a little heads up on, if you teach them the Brailler method, they will never use it um, after that. Think about what math you're doing when you regroup. Do you ever really uh, write it even? <laughs> yeah, would you ever do that? No. Uh, so we don't regroup like that when we're older, nor adults, we just add it up. And when you're older, you know, everybody's using a calculator. But young kids need to understand all placement. Okay, so here we go, down arrow. Play audio button, how many hundreds, comma, tens, comma, and ones blocks are there in all question? Okay. They should be used to this now, even by the second problem. Play audio button, land, edit. Okay, so they're gonna know that is the hundreds. They're gonna go ahead and go to their abacus, they're gonna feel, they're gonna say three hundreds. Three. Gonna continue to down arrow. Hundreds, comma, land, edit. Okay, and they should know that's tens. They're going to go over and feel. Okay, they've got four tens. Four. Continue to down arrow. Tens, comma, and land, edit. Okay, they should know that one. that's ones. Once again, if they're forgetting, just have them down arrow one more time to listen. Ones. It's ones. Land, edit. Okay, and they're going to come over here and feel. Okay, it is five ones. Five. Okay, and they're going to continue to down arrow. Ones. Play audio button. Complete the addition sentence, period. Okay. 232. 232, they've already added this up at the very first sentence. Plus 113 equals land edit. Okay. And when they get really fast, they literally can uh, use the letter E to jump to each edit box. I mean, kids get really, really fast at this. Anyway, we're starting out as a beginner, so they're going to go back here and go, okay, they're going to remind themselves 345. 3, 4, 5. Uh, and typically enter does not work. We can try it right here to see if it does submit. Typically it makes you tab to submit or down arrow to it. 345, ah, enter. I excel vertical bar use models to add three dash digit numbers okay. dash without regrouping uh, vertical bar. Once again, uh, the updates are constant, so everything changes a little bit. Anyway, this is pretty continuous throughout this whole particular lesson is regrouping. Once again, you want to combine this with the abacus uh, and base 10 blocks. Most children move pretty quickly from the base 10 blocks to the abacus. The abacus is truly just so, so, so fast. Okay, and that is how you do uh, regrouping in IXL.